Now at six, residents of a mobile home park say their management company is ignoring state law, with some paying as much as $3,800 a month in rent. Their demands as they protest conditions. Plus, a wandering bear shuts down the CU Boulder campus. How wildlife officials got it to safety. It's the hottest day of the week and the hottest day we've had all summer when we get a break from the 90s in the first alert forecast. We are covering Colorado first on CBS News Colorado at 6 and we begin tonight in Arapahoe County where people living in a mobile home park are protesting their management company. Good evening. I'm Michael Spencer and I'm Michaela White and for Karen Lee some residents have been paying up to $3,800 in rent saying the company is taking advantage of them. Our investigator Katie White first reported about these issues at the park last week. She joins us live from the park now. Katie state inspectors investigated those complaints today. Yeah, Michael, residents here at Fox Ridge Farms are fed up with their management company, and they want the state to know that they've been out here all day protesting. And as you can see, they're still out here at this hour protesting because there are several mobile home park laws in this state that can hold these parks accountable, and residents just want to see those laws enforced. Now, the residents have several concerns here. They say the management company hasn't been keeping up the property and has jacked up rent prices. Some families here say they pay up to $3,800 a month in rent and residents also say the park has implemented arbitrary parking policies including a five dollar daily overnight guest fee and asking residents to pay for parking when they used to be able to park for free on the street some say these changes are exploiting the residents here as many are older people or undocumented immigrants and don't have many other housing options I'm a senior, I, you know, disability and stuff, and I've lived here 30 years. And in the last five years, it's gotten bad, and this last six months has even got worse. It's like they're trying to push you out. Now, we reached down to the company multiple times over the last couple of weeks for a comment, but so far, we still have not heard back. Now, the company has told residents previously that those parking policy changes were for safety reasons. Michael, back to you. Katie, any word on when the state's investigation will be complete? Well, Michael, the state has been pretty tight lipped on the progress of their investigation, but with the inspectors out here today at this mobile home park, it could be at least a couple more weeks before any findings are released. We'll be, of course, be sure to let you know what happens. Reporting live in Northeast Aurora, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Okay, Katie, thank you.